Welcome back to Weekend Smiles. So of course we were painting earlier, but we're amateurs, right? So our next guest is a visual artist and a mother of three who found her purpose through the arts. Joining us this morning is Tracy Ann McDonald. Tracy, good morning to you. Welcome to Weekend Smile. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here. We're happy to have you too, Tracy. I mean, your pieces look phenomenal. Like, Thank okay? You. Like, phenomenal. But before we get into, you know, some of the pieces that you have here, Tell us a little bit about your journey. How did you start? Well, how I started is, is a really funny story. Um, I initially um, did shoemaking back in the day, a couple of years ago, and um, I ordered some stuff for making shoe, and I thought about painting designs on my slippers. So that's why I ordered some acrylic paints and brush, but I didn't get to use them. I didn't use them. But eventually, I felt like trying yeah. to see what can come out of it. So I took a piece of canvas and the first painting was sold. Um, that's how it began. That's Versus, how it began? Yeah, the first piece was sold. Were you always like artistically inclined? Did you know that you could always draw and paint and, and put colors and blend so well and do portraits so well? Did, did you know, like, was this a skill that you... You kind of had an idea about even when you were growing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes, so my family is an artistic family. Okay. My okay. mom could draw, my father could draw, I can draw. I have a twin sister, she's very good at drawing as well. The whole family has art in our Yeah, blood. in your blood. But the painting didn't come about until like four years ago, right before COVID, I think. Yeah, it came about then. I was just fooling around. And that is how, just, you know, I knew I could draw, but I didn't know I had the painting skill. Like in this. Me. Yeah, and the first piece, persons were making so much buzz over it, and I was saying, wow, maybe I'm onto something. Okay, what was the first piece that you did? Um, it's a piece with an African lady um, with a very abstract background. I don't have it with me. Yeah. It was sold, so. Yeah, but. But it was a piece that was, persons were loving it so much, mm -hmm. so that gave me that gave me, you know, some yeah. type of vibe and so, you know, yeah, man, thinking about this is my, right, it motivated me to, to try and to do more and the more I paint, the more persons are interested, so. Well, your pieces look happy. great. You actually transitioned from being a singer to mm -hmm. now visuals and doing paintings and drawings and that kind of thing. You were actually in Rising Stars as well. Yes, um, it was me and my twin sister. Uh, the year that Christopher Martin won, we were on the top ten for Kingston. Okay. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I transitioned because I still do music. My sister is still into music. Okay. But I just it just you know I evolved into being more artistic, different yeah. genre of art. So. But just in a different way. In a different way. Just in a way. different way. In a different way. Expressing yourself. So you've actually managed to express yourself not only through like shoemaking and mm -hmm. music but also a lot of your pieces here that we have here this morning. Yes. I mean, what would you say um, would have been, you know, or what are some of the biggest lessons that you have learned being a creative? Well, firstly, um, being a creator, it gives you purpose. It, it makes you feel like you're someone. Like even when, when I'm going through my difficult times, my hardest times, takes me to a place where I can just relax. So it is a comfort to me, it's therapy, and it gives me a different view on life. It gives me much more, I can see more colors, mm -hmm. you know, in everything. So yeah. I'm not so stressed out as I used to be before I started doing these type of paints. Okay. Paint, paintings, you know, Sammy? So I, it does a lot for me. It boosts my confidence. It makes me into somebody more, somebody that is more open to things yeah right so we're gonna you're gonna walk us through a few of your pieces now tracy let's see yes. what's on our left here is this is bob yes with i can't breathe mm -hmm. okay tell me a little bit about this piece well um this piece is a very controversial piece um it was just an idea i mixed two different things together i had a picture of bob but there was a um, I can't breathe, breathe movement going on, and I was kind of thinking, let me merge it two to see how it look, who, how it would look. Persons, some persons weren't having it because they were saying that that's not what Bob would have done. Yeah. But it's like a conversation starter for me. I just play with the brain, play with the minds of persons, and they come to me and say, why would you do this? And I just said, well, I'm just trying something new. Yeah. You know, just a different view of what I 
what I can do. Yeah. You know? And what's actually happening, what's current. Right, what's okay. current. So I'm mixing different. I'm mixing the picture with what is going on. And persons like it. Persons like the interesting thing about it, but some persons are really, why would I put I can be there? Bob Marley is somebody that is a revolutionary. Of course. Whatever. What I about understand. what about the one beside it, the donkey, the lady and the donkey? Yes, um, I tend to like um, traditional pictures of like old houses and countrysides and nice landscape. I haven't done much of that. I'm trying to broaden my thing by doing a lot of um, pictures I would like to see, like in the future. You know, to, to take me back into a time and place. Mm -hmm. pictures, pictures like these take you back into a time and place. And I just don't want to lose that traditional yeah, feel. So I, I try my best to do pieces like these for purposes like that. Okay. To keep the traditional feel of Jamaica. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that we'll always remember things like this. Where we're coming from and... Where we're coming from to, to know where we're going exactly, to. Exactly, because it's very important. All right. So talk to me about Usain Bolt now. Yes, you seem bold. Um, I really wanted to meet him. Ah. I did it because I wanted to meet him. I tried my best. I haven't gotten the chance yet. But you saying, this one is for you. You saying, I really want you to have it. And I'm very inspired by you. And please link me up. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, you saying, if you're watching, if somebody knows you saying who watching, just link him and say, Tracy, I have a piece for him. Exactly. I know we have some other pieces here. Yes but lots of portraits. Where do you draw inspiration from, Tracy? Because it seems you take it from many, many different areas. Final question for you. Right, um, I'm inspired by everything. I'm not going to lie. I don't have a specific place or thing that, uh, that draws me. Everything comes together and it causes me to just... Mm -hmm. Express you know, yourself. Express myself. Where can we find you, quickly? Okay, you can find me at um, Creative Traces and Signatures. It's creative with a K dot traces t r a c e s dot signatures on instagram and you can find me at creative traces um sorry at gmail.com at gmail.com tracy thank right. you so much for joining us this morning thank Your pieces you so look much. amazing thank you i really appreciate it you're welcome that was visual artist tracy and mcdonald more on weekend smile we'll soon come back <laughs> <laughs>